in the midst of so many decisions I have to make, how do I know what God wants me to do? Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you on how to know what God wants you to do. Yes, I'm going to be sharing with you based on my experiences and I hope you get blessed. Now let's get started. One of the ways we get to know what God wants us to do is by asking him. The scripture records that we do not have because we do not ask. Ask and it shall be given unto you that your joy may be full. Glory to God. Now, if you want to know what God wants you to do, you ask God. How do you ask God? You ask God by asking God. Yes, you just talk to him. Let him speak to you. Glory to God. He's your friend, he's your father, and he's ready to speak to you to listen to you and to show you the right way to go and the scripture records that if our earthly parents know how to give us good things how much more our heavenly father just like the same way you ask your father or you ask your parents here on earth to give you something and you understand they give you or to you seek for advice and you ask people that you hold important in your life to give you directions and most of the time they give us that direction the same thing applies to god glory to god if you're confused and you don't know what to do you go back to him and trust him to reveal himself to you to direct your path and to answer you and he will answer you i am certain but this is what God has done over and, and over and again, not just in my life, but in the life of people. And also, I and you can also testify, some of you can testify as well, that what when you ask God for something, He does it. When you ask God for direction, He does. So, one of the ways you can know what God wants you to do is by asking God, God, what do you want me to do in this instance? Now, let's move to the next point. Another way you can know what God wants you to do is nothing but studying and meditating on the word of God. Glory to God. God speaks to us through diverse means and one of the ways he speaks to us is through his word. Glory to God. Now the word of God can, God can inter interpret the scripture to you in diverse ways. Glory to God. That is what the power that the word of God has. The word of God can speak to your situation. Yes, a lot of times probably I've, I've been confused, I don't know what to do, or trusting God for something great or something to do in my life and like no one no one was able to help. I go back to the word of God and it's just like the word of God is just speaking to me directly. Some story I would just sometimes I'm just reading a story in the Bible and it's just speaking to me directly. Sometimes the book of Psalms and it just exalts me and I feel refreshed and I feel calm. I feel peace in my spirit and I'm just okay, no more bothered again because I studied the word. And most times if you give yourself to the word of God as the Holy Spirit to interpret it to you and open your eyes to see, God helps you to see. There is nothing like getting to know God for yourself through the word of God because when he speaks to you and you hold God by his word, you have peace, you are sure, you are calm. There is nothing to be scared about anymore because you found it in the word of God and you can hold God by his word and say, God, you told me through your word that this is what I should do and I did it. My dear, that is how to know one of the ways that you can get to know what God wants you to do. Now, let's get to the last but not the least point and this is one of the points that always whenever I get this, I am certain that this is what God wants me to do. And now, let's get to it. Last but not the least way God gets to tell us what he wants us to do is through peace. The peace of the Lord that passes all understanding. Glory to God. When you are trusting God for something and you are on, you have, you do not have peace. You, are, you want to do something and obviously you are not at rest, the spirit is not there, you feel troubled, you feel distressed, God is not there. The scripture records that peace I give unto you, not as the word giveth peace, giveth I unto you. Glory to God. The scripture also records that where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty, that means there is freedom. Glory to God. So if God is in a situation, there is peace, there is calmness. Glory to God. You're not going to be doubting, you're going to trust God and God speaks to us through peace. You just be calm. In a turbulent situation, you discover that most times you finish, most times while you finish praying, finish talking to God through prayers, sometimes you just feel at ease. And that was the same 
kind of ease and peace I felt during um, the one of the videos I shared earlier on this channel on how God gave me answer my prayers by granting my first job testimony video I shared earlier I had peace and I, that was the second video yes I have peace after God asked me if I wanted that job and I said yes if I wanted the place there and I said yes I just felt this calmness unusual calmness that what happens if you know that God wants you to do something in that situation you are trusting God for you just find peace and by the presence of the Lord there is liberty you just find yourself doing the right thing and that is it how else can you know what God wants you to do? I would love to hear from you. Can you leave a comment in the comment section below? If you found this video helpful, can you click the like button? If you like content like this, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever we get to post new content. Thank you for your time with me today and see you in the next video.